Welcome to St. Mary's Harefield's Thought for the Day for Friday the 3rd of July. Our first hymn, written by Bishop Thomas Ken in the 17th century, is about waking up spiritually as well as physically. Awake my soul and with the sun the daily stage of duty run. Shake off dull sloth and joyful rise to pay thy morning sacrifice. Redeem thy misspent time that's past and live this day as if thy last. Improve thy talent with due care for the great day itself prepare. Let all thy conscience be sincere, thy conscience is the noonday clear. Think how all-seeing God thy ways and all thy secret thoughts surveys. Direct control, suggest this day, all I design or do or say. That all my powers with all their might, in thy sole glory may unite. Let us pray. All-seeing God, please see us through this day and the coming weekend. Help us to be awake to you, to each other, and to our inner thoughts. Amen. We continue to look at Psalms in the Bible. On Monday we looked at Psalm 118, and Tuesday part of Psalm 119, and Wednesday Psalm 121 with its promise of protection, and yesterday Psalm 122, centering very much on Jerusalem. So finally for this week is another short psalm, Psalm 127. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labour in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for he grants sleep to those he loves. Children are a heritage from the Lord, Offspring a reward from him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. In vain you rise up early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for he grants sleep to those he loves. Insomnia is a problem for many people. Many of us don't sleep particularly well. It seems to be a feature of life in Western countries or developed countries where we're expected to work hard and where many worries play in our minds in the small hours of the night. The issue is accentuated by the internet, our social media culture and the 24-7 approach to life that we now have. We don't seem to be able to switch off. We turn things over in our minds and our worries seem magnified and we should be peacefully at sleep. The concerns the lockdown has created will probably increase our anxiety level, intensifying the nighttime tossing and turning and denying us a good restorative sleep. Psalm 127 addresses this issue. Verse 2. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat for he grants sleep to those he loves. Now hard work is to be commended. It can occupy our time constructively. It can lead to a sense of achievement. It can help others in so many ways. We are meant to do something. It challenges today's culture of entitlement. But if we work too hard, and if we depend upon what we do to give us value and identity, we're not in healthy territory. God gives us sleep. We need sleep. Our bodies, minds, souls and spirits 
benefit from the rest and restoration it gives. So one feature to aim for in post-COVID-19 living is a healthy work-life balance and a good night's sleep. Verse 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labour in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. Psalm 127 is defined by this opening verse. We can rush around doing all sorts of things, good things, but we can end up getting nowhere as a result. We can put so much energy into achieving and safeguarding, but this psalm says, whoa, hold on a minute, slow down. What are you achieving in the long run or even the short run? The Reformation began with the rediscovery of God's grace, which had been lost by the Church. But it led to what we now call the Protestant work ethic that emphasises discipline, frugality and hard work, whereby if we're not careful, doing becomes more important than being. The psalm also reminds us that whatever we do, we don't have as much control of our destinies and our futures as we might think. This lesson has probably been reinforced by COVID-19. There's a little voice here gently saying, relax, God loves you. It's God's activity in the end that matters a lot more than ours. Verses 3 to 5 are a bit different and a bit strange when you think of the main theme we're thinking about today. Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. What is all this about? When people grow older in biblical society, they are cared for by those who are younger. Therefore, to have children who can be a practical support and to help where there are conflicts is a great blessing. In a society that supports more widely than just the nuclear family, others can take this on board as well as a role. In fact, we've seen in this pandemic many people being helped by others who've often done shopping and kept an eye on those who've been isolated. It's been cheering to see the care that has naturally emerged to support those who are elderly and vulnerable. The wider society is really caring. There's an interesting verse in a psalm which we haven't looked at on this occasion in our selection. David says in Psalm 37 verse 25, I was young and now I'm old, yet I've never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. What he means here in this extraordinary comment is that the extended community makes sure that people are provided for and not neglected. They looked out for each other. Another feature for our wish list to incorporate into life in post-pandemic days. Now a key verse for this psalm probably needs to be verse 1, having said all that. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labour in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. We might not be engaged with house building or defending cities, but the principle applies to everything. What God does lasts. If we do our own thing, it might not last. We don't need to live in vain. We don't need to kill ourselves by activity and worry. Verse 2. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for God grants sleep to those he loves. The hymn, Father, I place into your hands, can be our prayer today, to leave with our Heavenly Father those things that weigh us down, those things that worry us, those things that cause us to lose sleep. Father, I place into your hands the things that I can't do, Father, I place into your hands the times that I've been through. Father, I place into your hands the way that I should go, for I know I always can trust you.
Father, I place into your hands my friends and family. Father, I place into your hands the things that trouble me. Father, I place into your hands the person I would be, for I know I always can trust you. Let us pray. We pray for the significant lifting of UK lockdown over this coming weekend. That people would be sensible and careful as life begins to open up. We pray for church worship as it resumes this Sunday at St Mary's Harefield and other churches across the country. We pray for the USA with its significant rise in the rate of new infections. We pray for the local UK lockdown in Leicester and for other places in this country that have spikes in their rates of infection. We pray too for the people of Hong Kong in the wake of their new repressive law which has been introduced. We pray for all who are anxious and worried at this time due to the pandemic and its isolating effects. And we lay before God whatever keeps us awake at night. We pray for those who are ill, especially those known to us. And we pray for those who are bereaved, again especially those we know personally. The Collect for this week. God our Saviour, look on this wounded world in pity and in power. Hold fast to your promise of peace, won for us by your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. There's no thought for the day tomorrow on Saturday. We are, though, continuing next week as usual with a thought for every day, finishing off our selection of psalms. It will change after that, but next week will be as usual. On Sunday, worship resumes here at St Mary's Church with two services of Holy Communion at 8am and at 10.30am, our usual times. You're very welcome to attend. It would be lovely to see you if you can make it at this church. However, we are streaming a service as well for those unable to come or who are doubtful about coming. So you won't miss out. And we will be doing this every Sunday in the future. So you won't be missing out at all. We conclude with a hymn, which we usually have at the beginning rather than the end of a service. It's an invitation to be still, to quieten ourselves and to find God's presence, God's glory and God's power inhabiting the space of life. Be still, for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One, is here. Come bow before him now with reverence and fear. In him no sin is found, we stand on holy ground. Be still, for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One, is here.
Be still, for the power of the Lord is moving in this place. He comes to cleanse and heal, to minister his grace. No work too hard for him, in faith receive from him. Be still, for the power of the Lord is moving in this place. Psalm 127, verses 1 and 2. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labour in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. In vain we rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for God grants sleep to those he loves. Lord God, we pray for a reminder that we depend upon your grace each day. And what we do of ourselves is limited. So help us to be fruitful in working sharper rather than harder and taking time to rest, to sleep and to restore our souls. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace today, this weekend, and always. Amen.